Hello everyone and welcome to this Blender game tutorial. What we're going to be doing today is just creating a simple game. Um, so you're going to be able to play in this hill map. We're going to create a nice little sky, some hills, and we're going to have a nice grass texture on there. And you're also going to learn how to make a little movable character with a first person view. So to start off, we're going to we're going to load up the default scene. And um so here we go. And you're going to start off with just the cube. What you're going to want to do is delete the cube. And then you're going to go and press shift and A and open up a plane. Then press S to scale it. So press S and 8 and you'll scale it by 8. And then you're going to tab to go into edit mode and press subdivide four times. Once you've done that, you're going to go to face select mode and hold down shift and just right click on multiple faces these are going to end up being your hills then you're going to pull your faces up by clicking and dragging on the blue arrow and um, after you've done that you're going to go and open the modifiers panel and you're going to click subdivision surface and this is going to make your hills a lot smoother and uh, I did view 2 it's just really smooth um, and then what you're going to want to do is go to the materials panel. Oh, here I am opening, putting it in Blender game. And then you're going to go here and change it to GLSL. And now we're going to go to the materials panel. And um, I'm going to change the diffuse intensity to 1 and the specular to 0. And I'm going to create a new texture. And it's going to be image or movie and we are going to choose a little grass texture so uh, just any grass texture will work um, and it can be small or big and then uh, we're going to go to texture view in the viewport and now you can see it and our grass is pretty big it doesn't look very realistic so we're going to change the m coordinates under mapping to global and that looks better but we want it to be even smaller so we're going to change the size to 5 by 5 and um, we can just leave the z-axis alone and now we have uh, our hilly map and it's starting to come together and so the next thing you're going to want to do is um... well here you can see it and uh... <laughs> I, I pre-recorded this so and then you're going to add a uh, change the lamp you're gonna make that a sun so now it's a lot brighter and um, after doing that you can just kinda see that we're gonna add a cube to the game and this cube is going to be your player so you're gonna press S and scale it down to 0.1 so now it's pretty small and uh, this is gonna make the map seem a lot bigger and now what we're gonna want to do is tab into edit mode and um, we're going to add two loop cu loop cuts and a loop cut is control and R so we're going to add two of them just in kind of a cross pattern like that and then we're going to make sure you're on point select and select that middle point and drag it out and um, after you've done that you um, will know which side's the front of your character and uh, you're going to tab out of edit mode and you're going to go uh, and you're going to create a new material and uh, this material is going to be same settings as the grass so intensity is 1 and uh, specular is 0 now we're going to go over to the physics panel and um, then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the physics type is dynamic Then you're going to open up the logic editor down in the bottom there and you're going to change you're going to add a uh, four keyboard sensors so you're going to do that and uh, these are going to be your controls then you're going to add four motion sensors and after that you're going to add four and uh, and controllers and then you're going to want to name this keyboard forward and then what you're going to want to do is add, change that 
to W on the key. And basically how it works is if you press W, then uh, it's going to uh, activate the motion, which is going to be, you're going to go to linear velocity. And since forward is on the Y axis, see the green arrow, you're going to go to linear velocity on the Y, and you're going to make that positive 1. And you're going to make sure it's on local axes. That's that little L there. And then you're going to just make sure they're all connected. And then um, basically you're just going to do that for everything. For all your motion. So here I am doing backwards. And so that's going to be S. And then I just, since you're going the reverse of forward, it's going to be negative 1. Still, uh, and you're still gonna have the local axes, and then you're gonna do left, and so A, and just connect those, and left is going to be always gonna be positive on the Z axis there, so it's gonna be positive one for left, and then here we're gonna do right, so that's going to be D and we're gonna make that negative on the Z there and um, just connect all those and now if we press P you can see so the game works and you can walk around and it's not bad but what we want to do is add the first person view so now what we're gonna want to do after I finish playing around here is um we're gonna press five. Oh, we're gonna delete the camera first. Then we're gonna press five and uh, Z. And then so press five on the number pad and uh, press one on the number pad. And it's gonna be a one and three are your two views there on the number pad. Number pad's always for views. And then uh you're gonna add a camera. So shift A, add a camera, and uh, then you're just going to kind of position it right in front of your character. You want to make sure it's on the front, and uh, I scale it down. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just easier to see at that scale on the map. And um, then while having the camera selected, you're going to hold down shift, and you're going to right click on the cube. And then what you're going to do is press control P and you're gonna make object parent and uh, keep transformation and uh, now what that's gonna do is wherever the cube moves the camera will move with it and so now that we're in textured view I'm gonna press 0 on the number pad and uh, press P and now you can play just like in the beginning but we need to do one more thing we need to change the horizon color so we're gonna press escape and you're gonna go to the world settings where the little globe is and change horizon color and whatever horizon color is is what the color of the sky is so now that we have a little light blue color you could walk around and there's the finished product so thanks for watching guys and uh... please subscribe for more tutorials in the future Thanks.